the word is that uh, your, your tight ends are going to see more more uh, catches or more receptions this year. Well, we're catching a lot of balls in practice. Is yeah. that a good indication? Yeah. Is that no. more than is it more of an emphasis this year than it was last year at this well, time? Well, there, there's. Um, I mean, there's no question that, you know, you say under Coach Whipple's offense that um, as a eligible receiver, you better get ready because that ball could come to you at any time. You know, whether matchups or coverage, if he's, the quarterback is sees it here as the best advantage to the play, the ball's coming to, you know, that person. Mm -hmm. So so the tight ends have caught, you know, more passes in spring practice. Like, really, all positions have caught more. Not that the run game's been de-emphasized, but we're just catching a lot of passes. I think those guys in your group got discouraged at all last year, just you know playing that spot and you know not really getting the the looks and the targets and things like that throughout the season. Well, you could say that if you just look at the numbers. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the stats. You look at facts and figures, and you know why would not be discouraged? That I think the one thing that was really nice about the room a year ago is that it wasn't like they complained. I mean, it was hey, I'm a team player. The team is was on a quest to do something that was unique and special, and they, they stayed focused that way. Now you'd like to, you know, every room wants to score 20 touchdowns. Every team wants to make sure you're scoring 100 points, but it doesn't always work like that. But when you're winning and, and winning some of the proper right games, then it's a fun season. You've worked with, you know, a lot of different offense coordinators, offensive-minded head coaches. What's kind of been the thing that you've noticed about Coach Whipple that's, that, you know, so far this spring that kind of makes him stand out? Well, I've been very blessed and fortunate in my, I guess now 35 years of coaching to be around a lot of you know quality people and good coaches. And you know, Coach Whip has a knack. He's a you know a quarterback guy. He's got a fluid personality. Um, you know, in his brain, he wants to you know coach and have fun, which you know you know rubs off on the players. They want to do the same. So you know, it makes coming to work you know even that much more energized. Did you know him, or had you crossed paths with him in the past? Very, very little. Very little. I mean, um, you know, he went to high school in Arizona, so did I. So there's a lot of people that, you know, he knows and I know. So there, there's some, you know, obviously quick casual talk there. But, you know, my crossings in the coaching world were, were very small, a few, you know, recruiting, but, you know, but not a great deal. How is Will Gregg been progressing this spring? He's caught a lot of balls. Mm -hmm. You know, and of course, I think uh, very much like Scott Orndoff did a couple years ago going into, you know, your senior year that, you know, blocking is part of football and, you know, if you want to improve is your chances of going forward, you got to obviously put your face in and block people. So he's given great intent to that this spring. Uh, I think Coach Andrews and the weight room have done that kid a lot of good because he's got a lot stronger just since January. And he'll have, obviously, all the rest of the spring and summer to continue to get stronger. And strength's important at this, mm -hmm. this level of football. Do you think he was maybe too one-dimensional in his focus last year? No. Um, because, you know, obviously we're still trying to preach, you know, blocking because that is part of the play when you're tight and you are still an extension of the offensive line. Uh, but I just think it was, you know, not new to him, but, I mean, it's new to him. And, you know, now it's, you know, get your hands dirty, put your face in there, get your nose bloodied up, and let's go have some fun. As he develops that, I mean, are you – you feel like there's pretty high potential or, or a lot of potential for what he can do in the passing game? In the passing game, yes. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's showing that because he's catching balls out here in practice and, you know, getting down the field and – you know, he's, he's had, we've gone through how many springs, I want to say he's had, you know, I, I look at the negative, one drop. You know, good, you got one drop. Well, that's one too many, but at least, you know, the ball's in the air, he's snatching it. You know, it's at least a chance it gets thrown to him as being caught. And this is his last year, so, you know, it's now or never for him in, in college football. I, and has he been challenged, I guess, with uh, bringing in a grad transfer in, in Nakia? Well, you know, I, let me tell you something. When, uh, when Nakia came on his official visit, he spent a fair amount of time with Will. And there was a pretty good initial bond because I think both of those guys are quality people and they know that, you know, when you play this game, winning's a lot more fun when you're winning. Uh, yeah, we all have aspirations and goals, you know, individually, but there's an ultimate factor with the team and I think both those guys are team players. Uh, so what do you, what do you think you'll, you guys will get out of Nikki? I mean, what's, what do you see from him that made you want to bring him in? Well, it's just it's just it's it's one more player from a depth standpoint. You're always liking to have you know five tight ends on a team. You know you can't have 85 offensive linemen and one tight end. So the balance has got to work out for us. And you know Nakia's played Big Ten football. Um, he's competed in games. He's he's played the Michigan's, the Ohio State's, the Penn State's. So he knows what it's like to play at that level. And he's going to graduate, and we'll you know, we'll see him in the summer. Who, Who named, named you Timmy Last Turbo? One, What's that? Who named you Timmy Turbo? Um. 
You know, that's a good question. It was Dave Andrews named me that. Because um, you're so good in the weight room? No, not in the weight room. No, 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 no. That's, that's, no, no not, not these things, no. Um, I guess um, because I go 25 hours a day, eight days a week. Mm-hmm. 